Hey guys, today we want to ask the question, is the Trinity scriptural? If there's really one true God, how do we get into these three different beings? Stick around, we're going to get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. and I'm giving you truth for life. I wanna thank you again for watching today. If you're enjoying my channel and you like these videos, I want you to subscribe. I have new videos coming out every single Wednesday. And for every person that does subscribe, I wanna give you my brand new ebook, 40 Days to Overwhelming Joy. You can just click the link right above and download it right now. So today we wanna ask the question, is the Trinity scriptural? If there's one true God, how do we deal with these three separate beings? Many people would accuse those that believe in the Trinity of being polytheists or believing in multiple gods and not one true God. So does it hold up in scripture? Are there three separate beings that make up one God? Well, let's see what the Bible says about it. The first place I wanna direct your attention is John chapter one. And the Bible says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And the Bible goes on to say that the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and he was full of grace and truth. We know the Bible is speaking there about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The Bible says that Jesus existed from the very beginning with God, his Father. And so God and Jesus in that passage are two separate beings that have one purpose, one mind, one makeup. They are one, but they have two separate manifestations. I wanna then direct your attention to Acts chapter seven, where the Bible says as the religious leaders are getting ready to stone Stephen and he gives them the final message of his life, the Bible says at the very end of his life, he gazed into heaven and he saw Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father. Then if you look into Luke chapter three, you know the very famous story of Jesus being baptized by John the Baptist in the Jordan River. And the Bible says that when Jesus came up out of the water, that the heavens opened over that scene and the Holy Spirit descended like a dove. And the Bible says a voice spoke out of heaven and said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. This passage clearly shows us three distinct persons that make up the Trinity that are one God. You have God seated in heaven on the throne, the Father. You have the Holy Spirit of God that is descending from heaven like a dove. It doesn't say that it was a dove. He said it descended in the way that a dove would descend. And you have Christ, the Son of God, that was in the water with John the Baptist. People say, how, how is this possible? How can there be one true God but three distinct persons? Well, think of it this way. Many of you may have heard this analogy already. Think of H2O or water. Even though the composition will always be H2O, it manifests itself in three different forms. You have water that flows, you have ice that becomes hard, and you have steam that can float through the air. Even though those are three different manifestations, they are always made up of one substance. In the same way with the Trinity, although there are three different manifestations of God, who is one true and living God, he manifests himself in three different ways. God the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit, who is here on the earth with us now, indwelling us and leading us and guiding us into all truth. In fact, in the very beginning of the Bible, Genesis chapter one and verse 26, God says, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. We're not made to be like angels, we're not made to be like demons, we are made in the image of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The use of personal plural pronouns in that case is another proof that there were multiple beings in the Godhead that we were created to be like. The Trinity is a scriptural concept and it is supported throughout the entire Bible. Hey guys, thanks for watching again today. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, any comments, I want you to put them in the section below. I'd love to hear from you and answer any questions that I can. And don't forget until next week that goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next time.